So India's rising five and I'm working on getting her much more comfortable and connected when ridden. She was backed at the end of last summer. Now as you can see she's pretty keen for me to get on. We've been going out on lots of short hacks with Toby, who's my older horse, just to give her some confidence and she's been doing really well. Um, and last week we came across a wall which had fallen down and was being repaired, with lots of tarpaulin. India was a bit anxious and lacking confidence to approach it while ridden and because I want her ridden experiences to be as positive as possible, I just got off to give her the courage to explore the tarp calmly. Turning it into a target made it much less scary, so to do that I just asked, asked her to touch and she has to touch it with her nose. Then, when I say Matt, she has to stand on it. But here I asked her to stand on it again and she knows what to do as you can see because she's, uh, she's trying with her feet but it's just a little bit worried about doing it. She got there eventually though. On the lunge I'm working on improving her balance and transitions. Because she naturally has a pretty high head carriage, I've been working on rewarding her for keeping her head lower and her nose forwards, um, so it'll help her to carry a rider more easily. And you can see that she no longer has a high head, head carriage now. So we can start to work a bit more on transitions. Here I asked for a transition from trot to walk. And we've only just started doing this, so she gets clicked straight away for the first time just to let her know that that's, that is what I'm asking for. And then I can quickly progress to asking her to keep walking to earn her click and treat. So having all these transitions um, on clear voice cues really helps when transferring to riding. And her Spanish walk is coming on. She has to touch the cane with her pastern before moving on to the other foot. Now you can see that she finds it much easier with her left four, so I just wait to get a really good one from the right four before I click and treat. Good. Doing this is one of India's favourite games. That's it. Yeah, I know you can do it there. Good. This one. Yes. Yes, there you go. Very nice. Very clever. So here I'm playing with Toby with some of the things which I learnt on the Philippe Carl course that I watched last month. Now I want Toby to soften in his jaw when I ask with the bit. None of the horses were doing that at Philippe Carl. <laughs> I'm using the big anywhere. bit upwards so that it acts yeah. in the corner of his mouth rather than across the bars and tongue which is more comfortable for him. When he softens his jaw he gets a click treat. And this is one of Philippe Carl's stre stretching exercises that he does before mounting. So with the head held high and the pole open, which is the nose well in front of the vertical, gently ask the horse to bend his head 90 degrees. They usually find it much easier on one side than the other and it's a really nice exercise to stretch the neck and pole. Shouldering from the ground is one exercise I use a lot with Toby because it really helps to keep him supple. 
And he finds it a lot harder on the right rein because of stiffness in his right hind. We work on it at walk and trot. I use liberty lunging to watch how Toby moves and encourage him to move better um, a lot because he has stiffness um, and soundness problems as he's getting a bit older. Before I started all this work Toby had quite a saggy back and never engaged his abs and moved hollow with his back legs trailing out behind him and he keeps on improving his movement and posture um, but he's 21 now so uh, who knows where he'll be when he gets to 30. Um, here we're beginning to switch from a more collected trot to a more extended trot. Now, this is all work in progress and neither movement is refined, as refined as I want it to be yet, but it's definitely taking shape. The lovely thing about doing all this at liberty is that you know your horse is really understanding what he's doing and becoming more body aware all the time. <laughs> 